Hello, welcome to Sergey's Chemistry. Today we are looking at electrolysis of sodium chloride water solution. I am doing it on micro scale, you will be able to see it, and I will test the product with pH paper. So electrodes here are made just from graphite, it's in fact it's pencil lead. Solution of ordinary kitchen salt and uh, potential difference is about 8 volts. You can see the <coughs> as I switch on the current formation of gases on these two electrodes. Which gases are those? And maybe there are other products. You see I'm testing it with pH paper, it turns blue, which means <coughs> presence of hydroxide ions is detected. In fact, in cathode water is being reduced, hydrogen gas is formed and hydroxide ions. At anode, removal of electrons would take place. Here, chloride ions are being oxidized and chlorine gas is formed. The test for chlorine gas is bleaching of indicator paper, which you can see here. Let's do it again, <coughs> again on micro scale. I just putting electrodes straight on pH paper to see the product. So at cathode, water is being reduced, forming hydrogen gas. Because it's hydrogens in water which would receive electrons, hydroxides would be left behind, making medium alkaline. At anode, electrons are taken away from chloride ions. Chlorine is formed, which dissolves in water, reacting with it, making solution acidic. And test for chlorine is bleaching of indicator paper. Here is full, full ionic equation. You see the only species which are participating in the reaction is chloride ions and water molecules. Chlorine gas is formed, hydroxide ions and hydrogen gas. Full equation is this. It's equation for chloralkali industry, industrially, brine is electrolyzed for making sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas. Hydrogen is a byproduct. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye.